Dan from Guardian Mold Prevent here. I uh, wanted to take a look with you today at a, another successful mold remediation project. Uh, this one is an attic space that's located in Bensonville, Illinois. And uh, as you can see on the screen, we're up in the attic space and we're looking at the underside of the roof. So the plywood sheathing and the rafters uh, in the attic space um, have developed some mold. Uh, as a result of poor ventilation and uh, poor insulation and uh, actually a combination of a couple of other things that we'll take a look at a little bit later on in this in this uh, video. But basically uh, the attic space is a very vulnerable space um, in our homes especially in the Chicago market because of the extreme temperature uh, changes throughout the year and uh, we wanted to show you uh, the transformation from an attic that uh, is, ri is riddled with mold uh, into one that's been treated and cleaned um, and is a space that is no longer affected. Now this home is a house that uh, was placed on the market and the homeowner was completely caught off guard when the mold was found by the home inspector for their buyer and uh, this process is what helped them get through the sale of their house. Now we're going to spend a minute uh, or so here looking at this diagram. I wanted to show you what uh, your attic space is meant to be constructed like. You can see that at the ceiling, the, the uppermost ceiling in your house, you should have a good insulation barrier. That insulation barrier is meant to keep the house heat down and out of the attic space so that the attic can then be conditioned by the outdoor air. You'll notice that the overhangs or the lower portions of the roof, there's uh, vents cut in. And then at the upper portion of the roof, there is a mushroom vent in this diagram that allows for air to pass through. Your attic is meant to be as cold inside the attic space as it is outside in the wintertime. And what happens is, is that any warm air that is able to get up into the attic space, if the ventilation isn't proper either in the upper or lower uh, sections, gets trapped against the ice cold roofing members and then it ends up condensating and ultimately you end up with mold growth. Now in this home we'll quickly look at a couple of the deficient uh, areas that are leading to uh, the warm air getting up into the attic space. You can see that where the electrical uh, was run in this attic and uh, the conduit runs through. The batted insulation was actually pulled back uh, exposing the top side of the drywall. And that drywall has absolutely no R factor whatsoever. Uh, and so therefore, house heat is able to get up into the attic space um, and help this problem uh, develop the condensation. Now we're also looking at the top side of what's called a, ho a whole house fan. Many people have these installed in their uh, hallways of their second floor of their home. And these fans are turned on uh, in the summertime to help get air movement um, through the uh, attic space, but uh, they're just a big gaping hole that allows for heat to get up into the attic because all they have is plastic or metal louvers on the underside of them that block the house heat out. Uh, now we'll look really quickly at what the project looks like uh, in its finished condition. You can see that uh, everything has been scrubbed uh, with a biocide, which again is a product that uh, kills mold on contact. Then the guys crawl through and they physically scrub all those surfaces down to ensure that we're prepping those surfaces so that we can uh, put on a, a coating that will uh, lock down any of the spores that are still in the uh, semi-porous wood. And, uh, and once the, the scrubbing has been finished, we then go back through and we treat everything with this white acrylic-based coating. Uh, that coating does come with a 10-year manufacturer's warranty and it warrants that all the applied coating surfaces will be free from mold growth from the application date going forward for, for that 10-year period. Now it is imper imperative that you address all the issues that are leading to the condensation problems in your attic space because ultimately if uh, winter after winter the attic continues to condensate while our coating will prevent mold growth on itself, uh, it will not stop the roof from rotting. So it's, it's equally important to take care of the mold as it is the root cause issues.